plates of four roll wagons and a number plate of an engine and a tube of uh, out of a K class engine mine for my uh, line post. For his line post. For the for this well the steam went through there, did it? Eh? The steam went through there, did it? Yeah, that's it, there. Steam engine, out of a K class. Brilliant. So looking at these, tell me the story where these came from. You were a uh, a, scrap a scrap merchant. Scrap for, for, for Wooden Brothers. Wooden Brothers. We, we, we scrapped over a over a hundred. I cut up over a hundred steam engines. And where was that based? And that was based on Barry Docks. Barry Docks. What years was that? Well, they were steam. Can you remember them? There were lines of them. Lines of them. Yeah, lines and lines of them. What year was that open? The, the... Oh, oh, that, this is uh, uh, 1950 in the 1950s. 50, 60. Uh, so tell me the story with these plates and and how they ended up in your possession. I cut them off uh, rail, old railway, old old uh, old the wooden wagon, old uh, old rail, railway wagons. Yeah. And this has come out of a small steam engine I cut up, one of my K classes, and this is one of the boiler tubes. The boiler tubes the for boiler a tube. for the we steam made, engine. We made, we made, we made line posts out of them. <laughs> Brilliant. You got another one down the other end, look. Another one down the other end. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. And now, um, Millie. kind enough to put these in my possession. They're being handed down to me. Um, comment, everybody. I mean, what should I do with these engine plates? Do I clean them up and paint them, or do I leave them as they are? Let us yeah. know. But, yeah, Jimmy Morris, 2020, still going strong. Right. And passing these down yeah. from the old steam engines down to me, down to my possession. So you got one here, it's got Darlington written on it. LNER, that is. LNER, this one, Midland, is it? Uh, that, uh, I think it's Midland. I'm not sure, I'm not certain. But it's he needs a good clean up bind, doesn't he? Yeah. Great Western Railway. GWR. What's the numbers on that one? 9491. That's off a of steam engine. Uh, locomotive. Yeah, and this is what, West? Uh, I don't know what, uh, I don't know, Western region is it? Yeah. Brilliant, there's not many more of these about, is there? No. That's uh, off a 20 ton, I look. 20 tons, 20 tons. 20 tons, yeah. 13 tons, that yeah. one there. This one is, uh, yeah. I can't quite work out what that is. I think it's 13 tons again. And this one's the biggest one, it's 21 tons. Yeah, 21 tons. So how many years did you cut up these old trains? Over, over 10 years. Over 10 years over cutting 10 up these years. old trains. So they turned up at your yard over in Barry Docks yeah. and you would cut them up. Yeah. Brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid, you used to come home and you used to be all... I also, I also done a job that I don't, I don't think anybody else in the world have done. Yeah. And it was to go over to the basin with a, with a, a mate. Yeah. To take three cranes down. Yeah. Scrap them. On the first one, two was they were in two was in the right place. The third one was too far away. Yeah. And we had to fetch the third one towards the other two. Yeah. But we got on this big handle though, and we just couldn't budge it. Yeah. So we hooked it onto uh, the lorry. Yeah. We got the lorry pulling, and I we were working the handle. Well, they went, they went, and I went that quick. Did the handle spun? It I was quick enough, but it it it, it caught my mate in the chest oh was fracturing a few of his ribs yeah so the boss gave me a when he comes over and i told him what happened and he'd uh, he's gone off to hospital well the boss gave me a piece of paper with a number on it if you need any if you need a crane driver to do anything he'll call he just call him out yeah and come and uh, lift what you want but i took those three cranes down on my own. On your own? Three cranes three, down? Three of them big dock cranes. How, how are you, were they? Oh, they were four. A few, big, few big, feet big, in the air, yeah? Big, uh, well, it's that, uh, they had to unload in ships. This one load ships, were they? Yeah, yeah. The wooden or timber yard. Oh, right, yeah. Over Barry Docks, there. Yeah, over the basin. The basin yard, yeah. yeah. And I took them three cranes down on my own. Fantastic. A I welder. Don't I don't think anybody else in the world did that. Took three trains down on his own, and I don't. So you took how many trains? Would you, you say you took? You know a what I actually got for that? What's that? 
My money then was nineteen pounds, uh, fifteen pounds a week. <laughs> yeah. I worked four nights, four nights till seven o'clock. That was a pound a night, so I had my bun, my actual money was nineteen pound a week. Yeah. I went into the office to pick up my first wages, and the boss said I put a bonus in there for you this week. Yeah. Yes, uh, he made it up to twenty. Twenty? Oh, does he give you a pound? He, he put a pound. That was the bonus. A pound. One pound bonus for cutting down three cranes on your oh, own. No, no, I kept for each crane. For each crane. For each crane, twenty pound. Twenty pound. Oh my goodness me! So, how many of these trains would you say you scrapped over the years? Oh, it must be hundred. Hundred. You scrapped about hundred trains. Hundred steam engines. Hundred steam engines. Yeah, yeah. Over Barry, over Barry docks there. Over the Barry docks. Yeah. Brilliant. And your age now, Grampy Jim. This is my grandfather, Grampy Jim. How old are you now, Grampy Jim? Well, in another two months, I'll be 89. 89 years old. In two, year, two months. 89 time. years. Well, I'm going to look after these plates. I'm going to look after them. I'm going to cherish them. I'm, I'm, I, well, comment in the comments box. Do I clean them up and paint them or do I leave them as they are? You let us know in the comments box. But thanks for watching. Thanks very much for Grampy Jim for joining me. Cheers, Grampy Jim. And uh, yeah. Let's go and have a pint. So we have these plates home on a, well, we got them on the bar and we're gonna clean them up. So we come out here, you can see that I've got the GWR one. And what you do is I got a, a heat, hot air gun here if you get it on nice and close to the paint and you can just see it burn in there and just give it a just give it a rub like that and you can see the paint coming off that's half a G done so I'm going to continue with this now and the rest of the plates and we're going to show you we're going to show you when they're fully stripped back and ready to paint okay so here is one done it took me about 45 minutes using a, an old screwdriver a wire brush scraped all the paint off and while it was still boiling hot because I used this hot air gun on it and it's still hot to the touch now. Yeah, it's still boiling hot. I sprayed it with some, well, kind of WD-40 type stuff to seal it. Okay, so here's a look at the rest of these railway plates that have been refurbished. It's taken me a little while to do, uh, but I think they've come up really, really well. And you can do what you like with these now. Now I've spoken to a couple of people in the know with these things and the, a couple of people have said to yeah paint them they look really good painted and then I've spoke to another couple of people which have said I don't think you should paint them you'll take away from the value of them because I mean this is how they look in their raw form. So I'm not going to show you them painted because I'm undecided as to what to do with them. I might just, I'll probably just put them on the wall as they are. But yeah, there we are. These things have got to be 60, 70 years old and we've brought them back to life. I hope you liked the video. Please comment, please subscribe. If you like this sort of video, please let us know. Um, I like refurbishing things. I like bringing things back to life. But you guys gotta like it as well. If it's not something you're into, if it's not something that you want to see, please let me know in the comments box. But likewise, if you do like it, comment, leave us a comment. Comment, subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.